Thanks for sending, Dan. I've had a read through and will write a response in due course, maybe as part of another day of 3030. That day is now. Signs of decay could be read as signs of time, giving something authenticity, a past life, a history, the feeling someone has been here before. I feel that way about second-hand clothes. I like to imagine the person who wore them before. Something handed down from a stranger. To quote you, Dan, sympathetic magic is when you fake it, copy things, and imagine them into existence. Hey presto, they become real. I'm taking sympathetic to mean an effect which arises in response to a similar action elsewhere. Is art made as a reaction to something similar happening in another place? They rise together, a chain reaction. I'd be happy to credit the first Canadians, although I'm sure they're not the only people to do this. Do I need to credit everything I'm influenced by in my work? Does it matter if the thing you're doing is presented as fact or fiction? I think acknowledging you don't know everything and asking for help from someone with a different perspective or experience is a good thing. Just make sure it's an exchange rather than an extraction and make sure it's apparent that you didn't come up with the idea alone. That goes for anything you make. I think this goes to the root of who owns ideas and intellectual property, which I know you have some strong opinions about. Can you tell when drums are programmed on a track? There's a good video on Pitchfork where Kevin Parker of Tame Impala talks about how the impreciseness of analogue drums gives the track a soul. Fuck the virtual pineapple black simulacra. The virtualization of a shop turned gallery becomes a bit of an eerie, formal, liminal space like airports or car parks, although I would like to see exhibitions in both of those places. Was the idea to give their shows more authority? They're not twinned as far as I can tell, I think they're too new. Maybe I should make it happen. Newcastle's of the world is a great project. I'd love to have an exchange with my international counterpart, like a diplomat. My character is called Frank Wells, after a 90s Disney president. Can you apply to the Arts Council under a pseudonym? Frank's having a corporate suburban existential crisis. I was thinking of making a website for Frank with an embellished CV. Are you referring to Port Lim? They're opening a giraffe hotel. I've been to one of those at Disney World. You've got Skater Mail, Tony Hawk's responding to emails meant for Tony Hawk. I think it's something about human brains being bad at comprehending massive numbers. There's a good Tom Scott video which visualizes the difference between a million and a billion by driving across a car park in Dagenham and then driving to Margate, past Epsley, may I add. Like if you just take in what's immediately around you, Stuff like having a baby doesn't happen that often and is exciting, but when you consider anything bigger than that, it happens a lot, a lot. Does good art connect or communicate on a large scale? Universal truths? Is it a bit like the fear of being kidnapped when you're far more likely to be involved in a car accident? 